In this video, I'm gonna create a Java project named Person Details. Here we try to access the person details from the MySQL database management system. To access the data from database, we will create a specialized class person down with the responsibility to query the database. We also create a person class. To the instance of it, we're gonna assign the return row from the database. First, create a Java project, name it person details. Next, we create a package to hold the application specific interfaces and the classes. Create package com.person.details and create the class person inside it. We will use the instance of person class to hold the return row from the database. Table in the database have two columns named ID and name. So we create a variable ID of int type and name of string type with its getter and setter. To display the populated person object using sysout, we also override the two string method to display the ID and name of a person. Retrieve from database. Next, we create package XML to keep bean.xml file. I have a bean.xml file on my local system, which I'm gonna copy here. Next, we need a DAO class, which gonna take parameter required to fire query as input and return the retrieve rows. For that, we create a class person DAO. To use the JDBC template of Spring, we have to add all the required jars to the project. So I'm gonna add all the Spring jars and the common login.jar file and the MySQL connector jars to communicate with the MySQL database. Next, declare a JDBC template variable inside the person DAO class with its setter method. No need to implement the getter method as we are not going to use the JDBC template variable outside the class. Implement the get person method where we put the logic to take query argument as input, prepare the query with argument and will return the retrieve result from the database. In our case, the query input is the name of person and the return result gonna be of type person. We are assuming that the each person details exist in the database can be uniquely identified by their name. We have to use the JDBC template to create query and retrieve the result. Use the query method with the query as the first argument, create an array of input parameters for the second argument and create the inner class implementing row mapper with method map row where we are gonna pass the retrieved person rows and populate the person object from the retrieved data. At the database side in the table structure, first column represent the id and the second column name. Thus, populate the person ID with the return result first column index and name with the return result second column index. Now we have to create a client code for that. Create a package client and create a class show person inside the client package. Implement a main method inside the show person class. To access the Spring Core container, use one of the application context implementation. Here we use the class path XML application context class and provide the bean.xml file path as an argument to it. Using application context instance, we can access the person DAO bean, which I'm gonna declare next and assign it to the reference variable of person DAO class. Next, we need to declare a person DAO bean inside the bean.xml file. As in the implemented class, we were using the JDBC template to communicate with the database. To populate the JDBC template variable inside the person DAO bean, we have to create a JDBC template bean inside the bean.xml file. JDBC template will communicate with the database, but somewhere we need to provide the database specific details like driver name, URL, username, password. For that, we create a bean name data source of class type single connection data source to hold these database specific properties. Let's create a data source bean of type single connection data source and populate the property driver class name of it with the MySQL driver class com.mysql.jdbc.driver populate property URL with the database server URL as MySQL is installed on my local system so I populate the value with JDBC MySQL localhost test where test is the name of a database where I created the table person populate the property username and password for authentication in my case username is root with empty password Next, we have to create a bean of JDBC template as person DAO class required it to communicate with the database. JDBC template class have a property data source which needs to be set by the data source bean we created above. At last, create a bean of person DAO class. Let's name it person DAO and populate the property JDBC template of it with the bean of JDBC template class we created above. Person DAO is the name by which we will refer the bean inside a client code of show person class. We have to use the person DAO class object to fire query to retrieve person from database. We call the get person method of it and pass it the name of person we are looking for. At last, let's set out the retrieve person. Now let me show you what all the table database have. Connecting to database using Cocoa GUI tools. Select the database test and the table person in it.
table have two edges one among them is with name shape that's what we are trying to retrieve and the id value of shape is 1234 that what should display on the console after row is retrieved let me execute it again yes it's working fine we retrieved the right result